You may have seen our recent video about chemtrails and black beams. Well, despite all the time I spent trying to point our favourite chemtard in the direction of some useful information, as predicted, he carefully avoided it in favour of clinging to his delusional paranoia. Even though I made sure that I included links to articles on volumetric shadows and atmospheric scattering, the chemtard henceforth known as Dumbfucker Fart Blast demonstrated his willful ignorance with this choice comment. I've also seen the beam cut holes in the clouds, in front or behind it. Shadow don't cut holes in clouds equals it's not a shadow. Oh really? Do you drive, dumb fucker fart blast? Have you ever tried using main beam in the fog and finding that the glare prevents you from seeing where you're going, and then notice that with only side lights your visibility is greatly improved? That glare is caused by the phenomenon known as scattering. It's the same process that causes the sky to be blue and a sunset to be red. It's also the reason that a shaded area of cloud can seem less opaque than when fully lit. Yes, I'm afraid that it really is true, even though you don't want to accept it because to do so would mean losing grip on your preferred brand of steaming bullshit. Despite your wishful claim that I'm the one blindly buying into what I'm told, it's already been demonstrated to you on a number of occasions that I actually have a solid understanding of what I'm saying. It should be clear that I'm not the one blindly repeating bullshit without even bothering to investigate the irrational twaddle or put anything to the test. Show me one single claim that you, personally, have put to the test and I might change my opinion of you. I should point out that putting something to the test does not mean finding the same bullshit repeated on more than one crackpot website. It requires actually using physical means to demonstrate that what you're asserting has some genuine merit. I was going to point you at an hour-long lecture about photonics, but you'll just exhibit your standard knee-jerk reaction and blindly dismiss it as government disinformation, as per usual. And let's face it, you've already demonstrated that you don't even have the intellect of a sack full of turnips. I guess I'm going to have to give you a simple demonstration of scattering, aren't I? Of course, we already know that you'll completely ignore what you're being shown and continue making your ridiculous and idiotic claims, but don't worry, I'm not wasting my time because it gives us all another chance to laugh at you. In honour of the willful stupidity of dumb fucker fart blast and his moronic friend, the deliberately ignorant troll I refer to as Colin Helmcheese, here's another demonstration from the guy upon whom you've bestowed the accolade of the biggest prick on YouTube. So, after showing me that you're an electively stupid, two-faced, insincere, bullshit-hungry gobshite and that there's no point in me providing answers to the questions you and that pea-brained comment-deleting twat Colin Helmcheese are pretending to ask, I present you with a rather succinct piece of photonic ponage. What you're seeing here is an effect known as liquid sky. See the fingers as they poke up through the illuminated fog and cause volumetric shadows which allow us to see what's beneath the green haze? Now, either these fingers are creating nefarious black beams which cut holes in clouds, or it's a demonstration of atmospheric scattering that even a child could understand, and only a paranoid delusional fuckwit would attempt to deny.